I just want to share what I woke up to this morning. This is Minnesota in April. Hi everyone, it's Julia. This week I've been working on some ruffled muslin ribbon. I'm going to show you in this video how I paint this, a little bit about my packaging. These will be in my Etsy shop and also in my little summer shop. And then I'm going to also show you how I use little pieces of this in some of my um, handcrafted journals. And I got a few of those made this week as well. So let's get started. I'm us using a natural colored muslin and just taking one inch snips right on the salvage. And then I'm going to be ripping this all the way across the width. This is about a 42 inch wide muslin and two of these strips will make, will finish about five feet. I'm using my Koi watercolors and a round size 12 brush and going to be watercoloring this ribbon. I love the look of watercolor on, on fabric. Now this is not going to be washable and I don't use this in projects that need to be washed. These are more for craft projects. It's important to use lots of water and even wet the, that piece of muslin before you even start adding some of the paint. I love how the watercolor just mixes and just does its wonderful watercolor stuff right on the fabric. I am being careful not to create mud so I am putting down colors next to each other that, that play well and mix well. And again, continuing to add lots of water. And then this piece is almost done. I'm going to hang this over my door until it's completely dry. They get really wrinkled as they dry and so I'm ironing them flat. And I'm at my sewing machine now and I have just my regular foot on straight, straight stitching this right down the center. And as I go, I am just with my fingers doing this tuck or this gather. Not being really concerned if it's not perfectly perfect because this is supposed to have that homespun, handmade look. I will be doing a review on this green mat that I have on my sewing machine. Um, it, it's, a lot of people have been asking about it. Now I just added another piece and again I don't even, I just stick it under my um, presser foot and just continue going. I don't stop to join them in any other way and just continuing down. Now each one of these I package on a, on a tag and I like to do a handmade watercolor type tag as well. I'm using my archival ink in black which is a water, waterproof ink and then this is, um, this is a unity stamp and I don't think it's current but any large stamp would work. I also do a floral one that I love too. So you can do any stamp, stamp that you might have for this. But I do recommend the, water, the waterproof ink. Putting a lot of water onto my tag. Again, using my Koi watercolors and then this big round um, size 12 brush. And just letting the, the paints just mingle. I'm just plopping them on and letting them, them do their, their watercolor thing. Also dripping them. Just getting that paint to move. Showing another color combination. This is going to be the greens and the blue. I'm 
And I believe this one's in the pinks and the purples. I love doing this. I did a lot of them right just in front of the TV in lockdown again, still waiting this 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 out. So doing a lot of um, sitting in the front of the TV type projects. And this is a great one because you don't have to think about this at all. Doing a little doodle around each one of these um, with, uh, with one of my favorite pans. This pan is also waterproof. It's a uniball pan. Just doing a little bit of a doodle and doing some dashes and some squiggles. And then I have some wa some um, brush pens from Arteza. These again are not waterproof. This is a, a water soluble, really fun to work with. I had purchased these a while back and I just love them and they blend so well. And I also use them on fabric. And on those that whimsical girl that you had seen on my some of my journals, I'll be showing you that I did use some of this to add color to my whimsical girls. You can see it here and added the little lips and and then did some blending in the skin tone. Has some bulb pins now. This too is another product that I just just love for these quick little dangles. Just put three little beads or excuse me buttons on that and then to package this again just wrap this five approximately five feet a ribbon around the, the tag and then just add the little dangle just to keep it secure to the top and to show you what I used it for in my journal on the whimsical girls um, I used it for the little blouse I just added a little piece um, I do have these designs, this Whimsical Girl designs in my Etsy shop, and that'll be linked down below as well. But the little the, um, little button dangle just hangs from the top of that side there. Added it to the pocket, a little bit of the ribbon. Added that tag to the pocket. You can just glue this on or else take it to your sewing machine and, and just sew. I also sewed it right to the top or right to the side of this page. I love the texture that this creates. It sticks out of your book a little bit and it just looks so handmade and just so fun. Each of the journals too, I added a muslin um, little yo-yo that I put on a paper clip and I also did watercolor paint on each one of those. Each one turned out different. Each one's a different color. I did five of these journals with assorted papers. I included some close-up pictures. Thank you everybody who's joined me today. Bye for now.